It's Sunday. It's eight o'clock. It's stream time. Hi, folks, and welcome to Conan Exiles. And happy Easter to all you who celebrate Easter, and happy Chocolate Egg Day for for everybody else. Hope you hope you've had a good day. We're all back here, ready to carry on playing a bit more Isle of Sipta. Right, let's have a look and see who we've got in the chat. So, first in the chat today is Robert Mannix. Evening, Anger. Evening, chat. Yeah, good evening, Robert. Good to see you. Balana Tay. Miss Mannix, good evening to you too. Uh, Rex Havoc, good to see you. Beck the Tinkerbot, hello. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. Uh, Bandy B, hello. John Bet, good evening. John Delay, let the fun begin. Indeed, indeed. Maria Shamoon, maybe? Hello, good to see you, anyway. Uh, Mark Conlin, good evening. Uh, yep, happy Easter to everybody who celebrates it, indeed. Hope everybody had a good week, yes, indeed. Uh, who else have we got? Robbie Thema. Hi from Canada. Well, welcome. Welcome, Robbie. And hi from, hi from Scotland. Uh, six badges. Bonsoir, mon ami. Good evening to you. Reno Diedrichs. Good evening to you too. Game Labs, how are you? Are you feeling better, Game Labs? After you wasn't, wasn't feeling the best with your allergies on Friday? Hope you're better now. Uh, oh, oh, I've skipped past again. Oh, oh, where we go? Uh, it always happens. Let me see. Let me try that again. There's Game Labs. Here we go. Uh, do, do, do. L. Allen, good to see you. Good evening. Uh, looking forward to Age of War Chapter 4, Beck. Oh, well, that's Tuesday, I think. I think, yeah, 2nd of April. I think that's Tuesday. So, yep, yeah, not long to go now. Hopefully everything is okay when it launches. Uh, who else is here? Coco Booney, Taco Booney. The music is so nostalgic. Yes, it's awesome music. Love the Conan themes. In fact, all the music in Conan is absolutely fantastic. Oh, Ross Higgins is here. Good evening, Ross. How are you? Uh, is Sparky here? No, I don't think he is yet. We'll see if he see if he turns up a bit later on. Trip FTW, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, who else have we got? Johnny Panker, hello everyone. David Holler, what's up? Uh, Drop Bear Z, good to see you too. Uh, Anna, good to see you, Anna. Ace Raw, Rob Bal. Bagaleos, oh, some some surnames in tonight. Robert Valak, eh, Lord Valakan, good to see you. How are exiles doing on this happy bunny day? Yes, indeed. Buku Bunny is from Germany. Ah, okay, good to see you. Sharky Knots, hey Sharky, how are you? Sharky and I used to play WoW together on. Oh God, it was quite a few years ago now. Good to see you, Sharky. Hope all is well. Uh, Game Labs is much better, uh, and especially now with us lovely people. Oh, good to see. How do? How do me duck? How are you? Crazy wolf blood. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hilary Brown, Grishnak. Good evening, Rob. Rob Bagalog. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, we've got you. Okay. Right. So here we are again, back on the Isle of Sipta. In the last episode, we just managed to get this Stygian Archer 3 from the camp, just like way around that corner. Maelstrom's going on at the moment. Uh, so we got him. He's still level 0. Haven't done any levelling or anything with him. Uh, we've got some slightly up, slight upgrades for our Shemite 3, but as you can see, even at level 10... What? What? did he get? He got Relentless, so he's got a plus 5 in agility at his level 10, and he's only at five seven hundred fifty-eight. whereas this guy at level 0 is at 1,152, so he should be a much better better follower for us once we get him some levels on him. But what we spoke about last time is we, we hit 30, so at level 30 we hit the Steel Age, 
and we can start upgrading all our benches to get better better benches that uh, do better things and do things quicker and whatnot. So I did say off camera I would go and farm some materials. So I've, I've put up two furnaces. One is just had stone in it to turn into brick. One has got iron in it also turning into steel. Then turn some of the iron into iron reinforcements. Got wood turned into shape wood. Uh, I think that's maybe all. But with that we should be able to upgrade a bunch of these benches. So we need to get them upgraded. So we'll need our construction hammer. Uh, and the say anything interesting? Lots of people just saying hello to each other. That's good to see. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Until you unfortunately get I do. How dare you say such a thing? Surely those days are past now. We've we lost a lot of the low level ones, but we're starting to move up into a better bit better higher level area now right so i want to move that out of the way and then i want to make a crafting station smithy oh i haven't even learned them yet okay let's start by learning stuff survival we'll want the master blacksmith which will give me the improved furnace and the improved blacksmith i was curry on friday the curry was fantastic thank you game labs <laughs> my previous record on live stream. You're right, I do. You're right. We've we lost a few, but hopefully now we've moved up to a, a higher level friend that we should be able to keep them for a, a bit longer. Right. So we'll learn the blacksmith. We'll need the carpenter. We'll need the tanner. Uh, we'll want the improved fireball cauldron. Uh, we'll get to that eventually. Okay, that's a good place to start. Oh, that's the. Is that the noise of it finishing? Yeah, there we go. The maelstrom's finishing, so the weather will get a little bit better. Right, so now we want to make the improved blacksmith's bench, which is 100 brick and 100 reinforcements. Okay. 100 of that. Thor, see you. Hi, Thor. Good to see you. Just avoid the grey ones. Now. Oh, yeah, we'll be a wee bit away from the grey ones. We need to get definitely get some levels up before we go and take on the grey ones because they hit so hard right here we go we've got what we need so we can slot that in here in there there we go right and then we can take everything that's in here and we can destroy that and we'll slowly put everything in here Found a nice way to get decent weapons for thralls. They are the equivalent to star metal weapons. It does require going into a dungeon, though. On on the Isle of Sipta. Not really sure if we're up for doing a dungeon yet, either. Right, let me see. Let's put that in there. We'll just chuck the tools and weapons and stuff like that uh, down the bottom. We'll put that in there. A weapon repair kit. We'll need some of that and some of that. Some of that for crafting stuff. And then the stone can go in there and get turned into more brick. Okay. Right. We might need to move this out of the way. Let's just spin it around out over here. And then we we'll move this over there. Right. What do we need for the carpenter's bench? Uh, carpentry 100 brick 25 iron reinforcement and 50 shape wood uh, ah, bulwark good evening how are you sorry you're a bit you're not late mate you're we're we're all just hanging about waiting for you to turn up and some friends come to visit and left a bit late ah, not a problem it's a sanctuary of the snake men the easy mobs in there have 200 hp the harder have 2000 Okay, that, that doesn't sound too bad. I don't think I've been in that one before. I did I did start doing them in the order of the like the journey steps. Uh, and I don't think I got as far as that one before. Right, what did I say we needed? We needed a hundred brick. 
That's not 100 brick. Uh, 535. Put back in. Uh, we needed 50 shape wood. What, what was the other thing we needed? 25 iron reinforcements. There we go. Right, then that'll slot in here. And then we'll take everything out of here and put it in here. Like so. And then we can destroy that one. Wood in there, turn that into shaped wood. And we've got more stone which we can turn into uh, uh, okay, tell you what, uh, one thing we will need is we're going to need to get our tinkerer up and running. And to do that, we're going to need some oil. So we better get some oil crafting. And to do that, we're going to use fish traps. Oh, we've got three points, so let's put two points in there. Uh, that, pick that one. I've got one more point. Ah, let's keep keep going in authority for the moment. Uh, Joe Smith just popped in to say hi. Going to your sister's for Easter dinner and then have to set up lectures for this week. The Great Depression for U.S. History 2 and Jefferson to War of 1812 in U.S. History 1. Wow. Well, enjoy your Easter dinner. Uh, I'm not sure how fun setting up those lectures will be, but go for it. Thanks for popping by. Good to see you. Uh, 700, not 200. Okay, so a little bit harder. Yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll get these guys leveled up a bit and then we'll start doing the dungeons. Not sure whether I'll wait to get a berserker first. Or whether we'll be able to do it with, with these guys. We'll see how they level, I guess. Three days off work. Lucky you, I do. We don't. We don't get Easter off. We we have it added to our leave, so we can take Friday and Monday off if we want. If not, we uh, we have that annual day anywhere we like. Uh, doing good on Exalan. Set up the same place as you near Sepamru. Oh, nice one, Beck. Good to see you. Uh, Game Labs watched the rest of the video on Friday. I don't know about the other legendary. Oh, you didn't know about the other legendary chests I found either. Neither do, I. I often that boss. I often bypass him. Uh, I end up through the dungeon, and I, I'd, I've missed that boss. So I don't think I've done that boss since the the changes got done to the dungeons. So I don't think they were there before, but obviously they are now. So yeah, the I guess the thing is, take more keys than you think you're going to need. Uh, this should eat your dinner oh, scoffing chocolate now nice one why does his base have no walls because you don't need walls on the Isle of Sipta there is no um, well I mean you don't actually need walls anywhere but on the exile lands you have the sandstorm which you just need a little one by one so I could just like in this corner Three walls, a door, and a roof, and then I could stay in there to fend off the st the sandstorm. There is no sandstorm on Sipta, so I don't need walls. Feel free. I mean, you can have walls yourself if you just just to make your your base look better. Probably might be a good idea to put at least some fences along here, just so I don't fall off. But if I accidentally roll by mistake, but yeah, you don't you don't need them. Jacques Lefay, good evening, good to see you. Good to see you. Right, yeah, so I want to make fish traps and get them going. Where are fish traps? In the cooking bit, here we go. Primitive cook, fish traps or shellfish traps. Unlock that. Crafted with a construction hammer. Oh, where about will they be farming? Yeah. So I need 10 shape wood and 10 twine for each one. So, 10 shape woods, let's take 20. Of course, you won't be able to do that precision stuff next week. And unless we get our way and they've changed it. But I doubt they will. 
the you won't be able to do the shift drag and type in the precision amount you'll just be able to go split 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 until you've got it um, found something even rarer than the Red Mother dropping the torch, getting a T4 Zath priest to spawn on Exad Land's map. Yeah, that is... Let me see. I think there's only two locations that Zath priests spawn, and both of them are shared with a Mitra priest. So yeah, they can be difficult. I have heard that in Chapter 4... They're going to be changing the priest spawns and each each religion will have a single spawn point where where they can spawn. So it's a case of just farming that same area again and again until you get a, a tier four. But yeah. Not not easy. Mitra Serenity and Sinner's Refuge. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Tony. But yeah, that, so I think that's going to change. I'm not sure whether it's in Chapter 4 or whether that's in the next age. I believe that's going to change. I guess we'll find out on Tuesday. Once we get an actual, what do you call it, patch notes list. Uh, right, oh, it's turning night time. Alright, I want 20 of them too. And then we'll run down... Run down to the river. Uh, Reality Andy, good evening. Good to see you. Smokus Copus, hello. Good to see you too. Uh, so like set... Yeah, so set priests are probably the easiest one to get because there's multiple spawn points at um, the qu Temple Quarter in Sepamaru. But apparently... A, like the three that stand in front of the statue in the sort of main area and then you've got kind of two off to the side the three that are in the statue there'll be one priest spawn and the other two will be like fighters going forward Andreas F howdy, happy Easter to you too new update says that the werewolf is going to spawn near players bases uh, so the werewolf will spawn near to you it's like, as you're running about of a night time, the werewolf will spawn. But the werewolf, to be honest, they're really easy. Um, I, I did some testing on the test live, and even the... like, it, I think they, they start spawning at level 10, and at that point in time, they spawn with like... What was it? It was like 57 health? So their, their health is like less than what a standard hyena is. And... Hyenas on their own are not any problem at that level. And even going up to high, like when you're level 60, they, they'll they only... Because they'll, they'll level up as you level up, the ones that attack you. But even at level 60, they're like 370 or something like that. They're, they're really not that difficult to, to kill. I guess the biggest issue is that only one spawns a night. And you're going to need... I think it's one fang for um, your war paint to buy your war paint and 10 fangs to buy your champion lure so you can take on the first champion so with you getting I, th I think it's between 2 and 4 fangs per werewolf it's going to take you a couple of nights before you you get it and, and I did some testing with like how fast the night is and whether the knight is at one times rate or at five times rate, you only get attacked once. So you'll you'll have to go through a few knights first. Once you've got that, you'll be able to go and fight your first champion, and then you get you get more fangs from from the champion. So you'll be you'll be fine after that. But yeah, it's a it's an interesting thing. And well, I, I, in test live, the bestial regalement, that big cloak thing that you see everybody wear. That costs 1,000 fangs. So there's going to be a lot of people doing a lot of farming. Or a lot of admins spawning in a lot of... Why can I not hit that? They applied the patch already and you can't apply th things. I used to be able to hit bushes. 
for a higher drop rate of anim or insects. Not that one. Uh, here's more bushes up here. Ah, Major Dan's here. Hello, Major Dan. Uh, what's going on? Should be night and full moon. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let me get my sickle out. That's not my sickle, that's my skinning knife. Okay, so that's working. But you're getting, well, you're getting a little bit of insects. Whereas it used to be, if you hit them with a, one of your tools, you used to get more insects and don't get the fibre. Hmm. You think this was changed a couple of updates ago? Was it? Uh, okay, so I guess... Are we better to go with the, the sickle for insects, or should we go by hand? Hmm... Pick, yeah, I, I tried the pick. Nothing. Wasn't the harvest thing nerfed when they nerfed hit sticks? So they haven't nerfed that. The, the sticks thing happens on the Chapter 4 update, Water and Steel. So that should happen next Tuesday. But I honestly can't remember I, I, last time I did this. The last time I did this without using an alchemist to make my oil, uh, this was certainly working. It's not working now. That's interesting. Sickle hands get you far too few. Okay. We've got 58 so far. Chuck that away. I'll have to go hunting for some more bushes. David Zito, hello! Happy Easter to you too! Uh, you can't stay because you're spending time with the family. That's perfectly perfect thing to do. Spending time with the family over the holidays. But thanks for dropping by. Well, I now have to get a load of insects from my sickle. What are we up to now? 90. Really need like two hundred, hundred for each, each one. For oil, you could put seeds in the fluid press. That is true. That is true. Uh, oh, I just threw away some seeds there. Never mind. Which reminds me, I don't have a fluid press yet either. We'll need one to need one to squish the. You just don't get an awful lot of oil out of seeds, but since we're going to gather seeds anyway, we may as well keep them, I suppose. That's a shame. I really didn't know that they'd changed that. I guess. Now over encumbered. We're nearly there. An insect catcher for sticks and plant fibre. Also make compost boxes to make grubs. Yeah, that's another option. What we really need is just to get an alchemist. There we go. We're over We're over 100 now. Right. Let's get that home. I haven't seen an alchemist spawn yet. I know where there is one, but it's quite far away from here. Uh, let's put half of them in there. And uh, half of them in there. Okay.
haven't been able to harvest sticks with a pick as of recent. Right, I've definitely done that recently. Uh, where are some sticks? Some up here. Somewhere. Maybe not. Maybe I've destroyed all the spawn points of her. Right. Take you down. There we go. 18. Another 18. Yeah, so the branches is working as of now. But the bushes is not. There's, there's like fibre pieces coming off of the bushes like I'm hitting it, but... Oh, I hit a branch there by mistake. But yeah, nothing's nothing's happening. Very strange. Never mind. At the camp with the two Stygian, there is an... Possibly that are named Alchemist Spawns. You got one in your... Oh, so they do spawn in that camp. Also high chance. Okay, I, I've just been unlucky then. But I know that there's one... Where is it? Here? Is that where the... Sumerian Berserker spawns. I think it's that one. Or the Accursed Berserker spawns. As you come in here, there's a Alchemist, and it's always an Alchemist on, on there. Yeah, I did try the axe, yeah. Didn't work. Oh, actually, you were using the pick. <laughs> okay, I do. <laughs> right, uh, chuck them in there. Right, so let's, let's make... Uh, uh, let's put more points in vitality. Let's uh, make a fluid press. Uh, we'll need to get our hammer back. Fluid press is under alchemy. Yeah. So 50 shape wood, 10 iron bars, and 10 twine. 50 shape wood. 10 iron bars. And 10 twine. Whoa. Hey, Angelo's here. Good evening, Angelo. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, Grisnag has been using heavy Pictish armor found if you die in full purple it almost glows in the dark. Nice one. <laughs> uh, it's pretty to pull the alchemist but it's off by itself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the alchemist is all by himself so you can easily pull it. Uh, where will I put this? We'll just stick it over here for the moment. Okay, and we'll stick seeds in it. And yeah, we're, we're only getting a little bit of oil, but uh, do I have? I've got more seeds in here. In here. There we go. Squish that, make more oil. Okay, right, we've got those done. We need the armorer's bench next. So, the improved armorer's bench will make armor cheaper. Did we learn that? Uh, armor. There we go. Master armorer. And what does that need? What does it need? Uh, it's under smithing, isn't it? Uh, where is it? Armorers, improved armorers, 150 brick and 50 steel. Ooh. Uh, we should have a bunch of steel in here. Okay. Slot in that space. Yep. And then we'll take everything out of there and dump it back over here. Never bothered with thrall pot. 
uh, what I'm using the throttle for, for is as a refrigerator, a basic refrigerator. I don't think it actually re works at the moment and doesn't feed your thralls. But um, yeah, early level fridge, it reduces the spoil timer until we can actually get a, a real fridge. Right, let's chuck this stuff in here. Uh, thick leather, hardened leather, steel, but a bit of armor, some horns, repair kits, twine, hide, heavy padding. Okay, um, and yeah, so if I take, it's got an expiry time of 25 minutes, and if I put it in here, it's got an expiry time of 4 days. No, 4 hours. 13 minutes, sorry. So, much, much good. Much good for just keeping your food from spoiling. Okay, alright. Uh, I, I think we're almost there. We could make the forges as well, but I, I won't spend all day doing that, but I do want to do the... Oh, I've learned it already. So what does it need? That'll be under alchemy, is it? Yeah. It needs 50 brick and 100 iron bars. Oh, I need to... I'll sort that out in a minute. 50 brick and 100 iron bars. Uh, pick this up and move it out of the way and pick this up and move it in place then take everything out of there put the tar back in there and put that in there and craft some more steel you can come out of there Uh, Steve has never made the thrall pot either. So it used to be, you used to put food in here and there would be a big list down this right hand side of all your thralls who were feeding from the thrall pot. So especially in a purge, the old school purge, uh, instead of having to feed all your people around your base, you just dropped the food into the thrall pot and it fed them. Way back in the early days, you had to feed your thralls all the time. Their hunger reduced just like ours did. Uh, so you had to constantly feed them or they would die. But they changed that, so they only eat now to heal back up again. And you don't have to feed them at all anymore. And But you used to be able to feed them through here, but it doesn't work anymore. Um, but it still acts as a, a basically an early fridge. ECNL19, good evening, hello, and William Johnson, good evening to you too. Use the item picker option, it will put it on the right menu, saving, searching each time. Oh, you mean when I'm picking things with the, with the, this tool? Yeah, if you if you pick something from here and then or hit spacebar, it makes that the the default thing, so you can go straight back into it again. So I can go to cooking, uh, Yamatai hearth, select, and then it can it'll go straight back to there. You scrap that immediately, needing to feed your thralls. Yeah, it was a, such a pain, so it got got kicked out pretty quickly. Um, is there anything left in there? Nope. So we can get rid of that. Uh, I can put the stone back in there. The wood back in there. And turn that into shape wood. And we'll put the twine back in there. Right, okay. Uh, okay, there's still the tannery to do. And the forges, but yeah. That'll do for us now. I need to eat. There we go. Right, so Tinkerer. Let me see. There is a journey step for this, I think. Tinkerer, there is. So to unlock it. Oh, I missed it. Unlock the Tinkerer. 
apprentice tinkerer knowledge. So, there's three places you can get the tinkerer's bench. Either in, I think it's, is it survival? You have apprentice tinkerer, which will just teach you weapon repair kit and armor repair kit. You've then got under weapons, you've got the apprentice weaponsmith that will give you all these other things, but also give you the bench. And under armor, you've got the apprentice armor smith that will give you these armor things and the bench. But the one it wants you to do is the one under survival. Apprentice Tinkerer. There we go. Right, so that's now available to us. Unlock Apprentice Weaponsmith Knowledge. Oh. There we go. Access or place a Tinkerer's Bench. So, Tinkerer's Bench is under... Is that under Smithing as well? There it is. 100 wood and 25 iron bars. I don't have enough iron bars. Turning too much of my iron bars into... Oh, it's had 100 wood. Don't have any wood left either. Last thing you ever upgrade is the tannery. It's like an afterthought most of the time. Yes. Yeah. We get so much leather out of the tannery that it's not really a big deal, is it? Uh, because from, let's see, have I missed something? How come the exile can live with the bracelet outside the exile lands? Okay. Uh, open the door. You never made it to the exile lands. You were shipwrecked on the way there. A little video just as you start the game that, that shows you. That's why there's like broken ships all around the shore where everybody got shipwrecked. Um, ba -ba -ba. Might have to. I might have to shift all this stuff up a bit. Move and guard. You can stand over there. Move that bench. This was such a godsend when they introduced that, allowing you to move benches with everything in it. Oh, it's overlapping. Before you had to empty everything out, and then you had to uh, destroy the old bench and then make the new one and... Now we can move this in back in place. Right, now we can make a tinkerer's bench right here. There we go. <laughs> Where were you? I had to remind myself to eat myself. No, I was, I was not such a bad state that I needed Cathy Ann to, to help me out. Right, now what do we do? Craft a simple weapon repair kit. So that just needs 30 stone. Remember when you had to craft all your building pieces first and then place them from your inventory? Yeah, so that wasn't that long ago. And you ended up having chests full of unused, you'd craft a bit too many, and you'd have a chest full of unused building pieces. Whereas now, you use the hammer, you make it as you go along, and if you make a mistake, you can just get all your materials back. Whereas when you did it the old way, if you placed something in the wrong place and went to go and get your materials back, you only got 30% of the materials back, 40% of the materials back. It was, it was bad. Not quite as bad as Ark where you would line up a piece and you would place it and it would flip round at the very last second. So 
especially when you were doing like greenhouse and you got really expensive greenhouse pieces and you go and place them and it would place it back to front and you'd have to destroy it and lose 60-70% of those material. Horrible. But now, now you can use your hammer much better. Much, much better. It got a lot of abuse when it was first released. People didn't like it. But yeah, it's such such a better building system. Nothing is as bad as Ark. Well, maybe. Right. So I guess now we have to put that... Or repair a damaged weapon. Was that a repair kit? It is. Uh, you damaged at all? Nope, you're brand new. You damaged at all? You are. There we go. Let it, let it repair, so it'll repair it all the way up. But if I put it in here, you can see that it's got the little red bit because the durability doesn't go all the way back. And the, the better quality a kit you get, the, the less durability you lose. But it's just as good to bring it in here and repair it. If you know how to repair it, repair it in the bench, you lose nothing. That didn't repair. What were we missing? Iron bars, we're out of iron bars. That's why. Oh, we should really be actually making a steel one anyway. But never mind. It'll do for us now. Uh, you still play Ark now and then Scorch Earth comes out for Ascended. Is it tomorrow, is it? Okay. Scorch Earth is going to drop on April the 1st. Okay. Surely there's some irony in anything coming from um, Wildcard that they're going to drop an update on the 1st of April. Uh, in Ark, you could stack foundations. It would be great. You'd be able to stick foundations on cliffs and trees. Uh, yeah, okay, I get what you mean. Yes. Um, it's a sign of the maturity of this community that there is always someone under the weather. I spent two and a half days in hospital with a stomach bug. Oh, in hospital, dearie me. Well, I hope you're better. In art nowadays, there is a 30 second grace period when you can pick it back up. Yes. But it took him a long time to introduce that. It's still a bit of a pain. It was about 25 materials back. Yeah, it was It was really low. And if you're making something with expensive materials, it wasn't good. Okay, unlock the armor smith knowledge. The armor. Oh, is it? It's the armor smith knowledge. I think we're not high enough level to do that. Armor, we can... Unlock the apprentice, but we can't undo the armor smith until level 39. So that's that's where we are. Right, let's go and get our fishes. You can stack with mods, yeah, yeah, but but not in the base game. Right, let's grab our fish. There's still Catching fish down there. Uh, you still need to start your Exile Lands game over. Ooh, why is that? Let's chuck them in there. Right, what I want to actually make is the blunt. When's the armor? When's the next level for weapons? It's 39 as well, so we can only make the blunted, the simple blunted weapon fitting until 39, okay? So, did I get all the oil? Uh, it's the only simple weapon damage kit is iron bars and oil, the blunted weapon is just iron bars. That in there. So let's make one of them and one of them. 
if I mix two of them. Uh, fresh start is always fun. Yeah, it is the best part of the game. Starting off, still, still squishy. You cheated in creative mode and doubled the XP. Ah, okay. So you just want to, you just want to go at a, a normal pace. Then I get you. Yeah, why is it not in the base game? It's such a waste of resources and community goodness. Yeah, indeed. PG Bean, good evening. Good to see you. Just pay the guy that made the mod and have it implant. I'm, sh I'm quite sure they'll be able to do it themselves. Why Why they haven't, I don't know. All right. Oh, that, that needs to be repaired before I can mod it. As probably do these. Well, that one doesn't, so that can go in there. Oh, it needs hardened steel bars. Oh, of course. And I don't think that's anything I have because it... Oh, what's that? That's silver. Because it would be in there. Oh, well, I can't repair or mod that. Never mind. Uh, but I can repair the iron truncheon. And we can mod that. Right, I'll just drop that in the air fortress now. Right, I guess we will need to start getting some levels on this guy. So we've got to steal all your stuff. Because you're wearing the best stuff at the moment. And we've got to give it to you. Uh, and we'll take your weapon too. What bow is that he had? Arcanian bow. And I've just got a powerful hunting bow, so I will take your bow. Uh, forget about that. And we'll bin that as well. Right, I need to give him some food. Oh, I need to destroy that. Uh, steel and twine. In fact, what we could do is we could set up a little taming base around at that Stygian camp and just go and farm that for a little while and get some... Hopefully get some tier 3 crafters. So, here. Of some of that. Um... Thor's going to finish the religion and siege one at all once by setting up a trebuchet and unleashing a god at the fortress of Almeria. Ah, okay. <laughs> I will take your bow and I'll trade you a mace. Indeed. Even though he's an agility guy, but it's the best weapon I've got at the moment. Um, yeah, so let's get what we need to craft a little... Friendship station. Uh, companions. Uh, no. Ah, yeah, companions. So we need 50 twine, 200 stone, and 200 wood. Nope, oh, wrong, wrong thing. 50 of that. I need some food myself, actually. Ooh. Okay, we'll we'll get some on the way. Nerburn, happy Easter to you too. Good to see you. Uh, what was it? Two hundred stone and two hundred wood. Is that right? Yes. Right. Follow. Follow. Have you got anything on you? Oh, you got some armor. Let's throw your armor away. In fact, you can carry all the stuff for the taming station. The friendship station, sorry. Uh, not that chest full. We'll just throw it in here. Or just now. Right, let's go. We've got to get uh, 
get some levels on the guy and also at the same time we're going to head over and see if we can get a couple of crafters I, I, we've got we've got an armorer but he's a low level armorer but, so we don't really have anybody to help us right how do you get on with him okay not too bad Uh, did you finish the guide? Got to episode 39, but never seen you finish the game. Uh, so this current guide, that, that episode 39, was just launched on Friday. So that is the latest episode. But I, I have done a... I've done a playthrough before. Where um, I've completed the game. But this is the updated one with the new... I'm going to put that weapon kit on his weapon, because I can repair it. But yeah, we're we're getting kind of close to the end of of the beginner's guide now. There's not much more to go to go on about. But yeah, I have I did complete it in the previous the previous beginner's guide. Uh, right, so I put that in here, and it doesn't need repaired. Okay, that's got a little bit more damage on it now. Oh, he's picked that raw pork out of there. So maybe it does feed them. Actually. Only picked one raw pork out, but I guess if you're in the area, you only need one at a time. Right. It just got an awful lot brighter there. So it's night time, but it's bright sunlight. Yep, one of the weird lighting issues that you get in Sipped Up. Okay, it's getting dark again over here. Right. Attack him that. Might be useful in defense to keep him healed up. Yeah, so that that is the idea of the Thrall Pot originally, was you can automatically feed all your Thralls in the area without having to go to each one. It wasn't working when I... Look, it's completely pitch black here. Let me just run back over here and see if it goes back to daylight again. Oh, it's getting brighter. Yep. So, broad daylight, but with a night sky. There's the moon going away. Eh... Uh, Oh, did me. The redwoods are the worst. Permanent dark in there. Oh, is it just is it just in the redwoods? It doesn't happen elsewhere. Right. Oops. As the snake strikes, so do I. Come on, daylight, please. level are you now? A level one. Important safety reminder to all, when the pizza rolls first come out, they are very hot. That's, that's a good thing. Good safety announcement, Kevin. Thank you very much. But it does happen in other places too. Ah, Shade. Good to see you. Welcome. When you get to the meet the priest, take him up the hill and kill the... Ah, oh, yeah, there's gorillas up there. That's a good point. Thank you. I vaguely remember there being gorillas up there. So when we get to... Uh, I do have the Relic Hunter Torch, I do, yes. I, I don't have one crafted, but I can make one. Uh, that one there. It's just one, it's the same materials, one wood and five plant fibre.
Just avoid the spider boss, okay? That's a good shout. Beat the high priest. You learned the hard way, so you, I don't have to. Thank you. Uh, but I don't have my... Oh, I... What? All the world leveled up. Level 2. Uh, arrows. Arrows. Okay, so up, up that area. Huge spider boss. Uh, so I think we've got to go up, up higher. I seem to remember. Just climb up, boy. Go right, climb there, okay. Up to the top of the mountains. It's nine, just coming up to nine o'clock, so halfway there. Oh, oh. Right. Ooh. Is he coming? There you go. Oh. I've, I've pulled half the gorillas. Agility helps their damage bonus. Really cooked fish improves agility. Yeah, we're just wanting to go with health at the moment. But a bit later on, we'll once they've got their HP up, we can move up their agility. Uh, although it's only 40%. So, but it's went up to 15. I think it was only 12 when it started. Going to have, you're going to need help. Look, help arrived, help arrived. So, grit's going up and vitality's going up. So, that's good. Um, get heavy hide off of you guys. Get thick hide, yeah. And fur. Unless you give them a strength bow, then agility doesn't help much. That's true. That is true. Right, here, of that. Uh, guess you have that as well, and that, and that. That. Okay, take on the silverback. Hello? Easy, easy, easy. Uh, Steve, hello there. How are you? Go around here sleeping. Get off the horse. 6,000 XP, so much better than the crocs. Come on. 
give me your hides. Did I skin the silverback? I can't remember. Spanking the monkey, indeed, Kevin. Uh, it was around here, wasn't it? So, yes, I, I must have. Seems too easy now, except for a few choice bosses. Well... Uh, it shows 100, so although you're doing 100 damage, they've got armor that's mitigating some of that damage. So that's why it only, it'll, it'll show that you're doing 100 damage, but it's only taking 50 because some of that damage is getting mitigated by their armor. Joker Rio, good evening. From China, oh wow. Well, greetings from Scotland. Uh, red one. XP awarded monkey spank. Indeed, yeah. Gorilla give you 6k silver back. You gave 12k points. Uh, what? <laughs> Missed. Uh, oh, where's my horse gone? Oh, there you are. Teleporting in from the, the wonderful place. Gone worldwide, yes, indeed. Uh, but if you... Damage also pops up, and if you does damage, 100 enemy HP goes down 100. Oh, really? Oh, uh, I don't know then. Maybe it's just not showing correctly on Hosafs. Because that is part of the Hosaf UI mod, that's not part of the base game. Boom. And it falls over. But me got a level or did he get a level? Let me see. I've got a level. Uh, let's put that into vitality as well. Nice. Any more? Here we go. At least two more. Nice and clear up here. The lighting is much better. Silverback. So I have done. A, I have killed a silverback. Drop bear. Is, is there another one? Will we get slightly more XP from that? Did I click agility? No, no. My agility is still at five. So yes, it was. It was vitality. Drink time. Thank you. Uh, and another one. There we go. Dump, 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 dump. Uh. Oh, okay. That's a spider, which means there must be a big spider around here then. As he puts his sword away. Let me see if I can get some ichor out of you. Let's have a very careful poke around. There's gorillas up there. There is a giant spider over there. So we'll avoid that for the moment. Other side of that big rock, yeah. Missed. Oh, there. Either that's a respawn silverback or. or another one. Uh, 
Drink time indeed. Better get another tin or two of Hobgoblin. That sounds good idea. You stars. Hello there. Right. Thick hide. Hide. Fur. Don't want that. We don't want that. But we're going to keep that icker. I th think I've just come back. Oh, what's this? A fence. Have I come back round? Don't I, don't I? A loop and they've respawned? There are two silverbacks here. Okay, so maybe that is the other silverback. Hello. It has to be done. No ammo. Right. Up there. In the most vulnerable spot. Five hundred fur, so I'm gonna stop carrying any more fur. Easy come back again. Well, what level are you now? Seven? No, you're seven, you're four. Okay, let's get you up to level five. Given what you just went through, you had to look away when you did that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Major Dan. Have we got some sort of PTSD? I won't do it again, I promise. Uh, more over here. Maybe should maybe should give you the the short sword. If you can do more damage with it. Uh, what am I looking for? Behavior, tactics, no. Guard me. And your stats. Yes, he still has nothing in strength at all. And fifteen. Getting these agility up's gonna be a bit hard. Yeah. But yeah, we're working on HP at the moment. It is just so annoying that there is nothing above this the iron katana until you get to star metal. It would be so good to have a, a steel, even the perf a perfected steel and then hardened steel katanas. Right, I think we're kind of done that now so let's go let me see I need to go this way you getting up here oh it's a demon one on a hill not the best but down easy. Corrupted, corrupted croc. All right, let's see what we can get off of you. Uh, bones, flesh. Uh, get rid of that. We can get you the carry that and that. Maxed out on that as well that away of that Take that away 81% okay oh, 
Holy crab? On a Sunday? Hello, holy crab. It's been a while. Good to see you. Uh, where's that noise coming from? There it is. Oh, that's a pick. Smokers is away. Good night, Smokers. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, good to see you, holy crab. It's been a long time. Right, we can... We can grab some... Some, um, blah, 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 brimstone while we're here. Oh, get out of the way, horse. Yeah, no, still level four. Chat if you haven't done, forget to gently press the like button. Show him her some love. Naughty, hello there. Yes, smash that like button gently. Don't want you to break your phones. How are you, Naughty? Good to see you. Ah, holy crab, thank you for the donation. Very kind of you. Missed you, been working too much and missed a lot of them. Oh man. Working always gets in the way of having fun. Eh, right, let me see. What's the lightest? We can take some of that meat back and give you a stack of that. That weighs five. Be able to get rid of all that stuff soon. Okay, that'll do for us now. So I'll have to be careful when I come up to the Stygian camp that we don't pull both of them at the same time. Let's kind of keep over to the side. You pulled all the way from the other side of the wall. Oh, but you are right here and didn't pull at all. I hear a ghost noise. Have we learned this already? Oh, it's a, one of the bottle things. Found an old scroll. Catan dance. Learned Catan dance. Sweet. Ooh, there's a a building over there. Right, there's the Stygian camp. So we're going to go round the camp. Far enough away. That's probably far enough away. And we're going to build our... No, we're not going to get on there. We're going to get off of there. We're going to take the twine, the iron bars, the stone and the wood and we're going to build our friendship wheel. That'll do. Oh, i tell you what we don't have is we don't have gruel. We'll need to make a campfire, which is some branches and some stone. Branches. And some stone. Let's see. Scepter is so pretty, but it just never grabs my attention. No, it's, yeah. It just, it's not quite as good as Exile Lands. Also, I, I think the, the lighting is a bit unnatural. 
it's like uh, when it's bright and sunny like it is right now, it's like the the colours are just too bright. I mean, even with that misty, I mean that those plants are just a bit too green. And then you get the whole greyness when the maelstrom comes and everything goes dark and horrible. It's like, yeah, just uh, I prefer the the exiled lands. Uh, oh, Teddy Trent, good evening. How are you? Good to see you. Right, we'll need some plant and some seeds. There we go. Uh, let's put the wood in there, put the plant fibre and the seeds in there. Throw that away. And get that cooking. Gently doing naughty things to the like button. Gently. <laughs> Thank you, naughty. Much appreciated. Oh, Brett Young. Hiya, Brett. How are you? Good to see you again. Right. Uh, we want you to stand guard here. I'm going to give you... You've got a bit of pork in there and some spoiled meat. So let's chuck that out. Keep that insects for when we get back. I'm going to give you one of the truncheons. I'm going to have a truncheon. And we're going to go and try and get the crafter. You're going to miss the next couple of weeks stream since you'll be travelling for the eclipse. So it looks like the weather is going to make this one a costly lose. Ooh, where, where are you going to for the eclipse? Get a drink. Let's get a drink. Get some food. Yeah, where, where is the Eclipse? Right, what have we got here? Come on. Smelter 2. Uh, it's better than nothing, so we'll grab it first. Because we haven't got any smelters at the moment. Up to Canada. Uh, no, PG, are we going to Texas? I have a site right on the midline. Oh, cool. Uh, I need the gruel. Chuck the gruel in the bottom. I hit plate. Right, now we're going to run away out of, hopefully out of render range. Four minutes of totality, wow. Is that something you've done before? You have you been to an eclipse before? I can't I can't say I've ever travelled to anything, but any, if there has been a eclipse, I certainly checked it out. Oh you've still got your trunch in. I will do this. Right, let's head back. That's hopefully far enough. Weather report for most of the US is bad. Oh dear. Yeah, it's a bucket list item. Yeah, certainly. Also seeing the, the northern light. So... The, uh, I stay in Aberdeen, in Scotland, and uh, Aberdeen is almost famous for the Northern Lights. There is a song called The Northern Lights of Old Aberdeen. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Right, let's see who you are. Nice that we can pull this and the soldier stays completely unaffected. You are an armorer three, right? We definitely want you. Oh, 
much better. Right, let me see. Grab you. It's been raining non-stop for the last three days. Oh, wow. It's been really nice here in Scotland this weekend. Right, that's stopped. So we can take you out. And we can place you on and get you going. Uh, I think I'll craft a little box to keep these in. Uh, so I'm going to need my hammer again. Where is it there? I'm going to need some more twine. But can you carry this person for me? Where's that port keep coming from? Did I not chuck that out already? We have nothing but rain in the forecast for the next four days where you live. Oh, that's a shame. Stay up late on a clear night when there are plenty of sunspots and drink a bottle of Glenmorangie, you will see lights. Not necessarily the northern lights, but I'll see something, that's for sure. Yeah, it's it's something I've I've wanted to do for ages, but I've never it's never happened. Right, do the twine, and then I need to go and get some wood. I think it's a hundred wood for a box. And start storing these people in it. Northern Canada, you see the Aurora often. Nice. Something else I also always wanted to go and see was a shuttle launch. But obviously, that's not really going to happen anymore. But I guess the, the SpaceX launches are something that could possibly happen now. I've been to the Johnson Space Center in Houston, which was very interesting, but I've never been to uh, Florida for any of the launches. One of the times I was in Johnson, there was a shuttle mission go going on at the time, so you could kind of look through the window into mission control and some, see some stuff going on. But you weren't allowed to see anything, like if there was anything like secret going on, they would they would close all that down. Uh, let me see, decoration, storage, storage box. Uh, right, give me your person. Put them in the box. Uh, we'll put the wood in here. Put that in there as well. Okay. Um, we need to go away again. Looks like we do, but that person is already tamed. So an armor of three, I'll be able to craft this better armor, which is good. Right, let's run away. I've only been overseas once to the Comorous, Co Comorous Islands. Oh, I don't know where that is. Niagara Falls in Canada has declared a state of emergency as they expect over a million visitors for the eclipse. Considering their normal population is under 100,000, one could understand why. Yeah, definitely. Not been to Canada before either. That would be a place I would like to go to. Oh, are you not dead? You are now. Yeah, I've been lucky to travel to quite a few places in the world, especially with with my old work. Off Madagascar. Oh, nice. That sounds like a nice place to go to then. Right, what have we got to get this time? Come to Australia. I've been to Australia. I've, I worked in Perth, Australia for a month. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I was overworking in Australia um, in January, so it would have been summer in Australia. Where's your... Another armour of three. Uh, well, we'll get you and we'll put you on the Tanner's bench. Oi, 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 oi. 
Yeah, so I was over working in Australia for uh, a month in January. So 35 degrees every every day. Absolutely lovely, but because it's, I guess, almost desert-like, it's, it's like a dry heat. Um, and then on my way home, I had a stop-off in Singapore, where it was only like 32 degrees, but 97% humidity. So you walked out of the air-conditioning bus and were absolutely soaking. And then I went from there over to our office in Oslo, in the middle of winter in Oslo, where it was minus 30 degrees, minus 40 degrees. So yeah, I had like a a 60 degree swing in temperature. This, this is Celsius, by the way. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a shock to the system to go from a an Oz. Oh, did I just drop that on the floor? I did. Uh, an Oz summer to a Norwegian winter. Not fun, not fun at all. Yeah, Singapore, like walking at a brick wall, it's horrible. That's one thing I don't like is humidity. Uh, us Scottish people are not built for humidity at all. But yeah, we got, got out there and it was just horrendous. I got in those temperatures. Yeah, I'm surprised I survived as well. It was, it was, it was bad. But yeah, the, the Australia, it was, it wasn't a problem. You, I picked up a bottle of water out of the fridge from the hotel reception on the way, and you could walk through, walk through like a park to get to the office, like a 15, 20 minute walk. And it was, although it was 30 degrees, it was dry, so it was, it was nice. I, I love that every day. Also managed to go and see ACDC. They happened to be playing live in Australia. I couldn't get tickets to see them in Scotland, but they happened to be playing in, in Perth, Australia while I was there. So I, I got tickets to go and see them. So I got to, got to see them in what's essentially their home city. We live in Townsville now, moved from Brisbane. Ah, okay. Come into New Zealand. You got that. On a day, if you're lucky. Oh, it's night time again. Yeah, New Zealand is... New Zealand is a lot like Scotland from from what I've seen of photos of... Where's the place? There it is. Of the landscape and such. Like New Zealand is a lot like Scotland. Same kind of hills and glens and greenery and stuff. You're wanting to visit South Korea. Okay. Been to Hong Kong. I've been to Hong Kong a few times. I think that's the only far eastern place I've been to. So Singapore for a, a couple of hours stop off on my way back and Hong Kong. Yeah, it's mega dark, isn't it? I think I sped up the, the night time. Yeah, I sped it up to four times. There we go. It's brightening up now. Right, let's see who we can get. Can we get something different than an armorer, please? Oh, come on. Right, I'll just kill you off. Uh, is that nothing exciting? Okay, so this is the place to come for armor of threes by the looks of it. What was that? A tanner? A tanner two, and then like three. Three uh, armor threes. Kathy Ann's managed to sample a range of Korean dishes and really want to go now. Ah, okay. Grishnak normally finds cooks here. I'm sure it was the when we were here last week. It was it was mainly cooks. I'd like to go back to some of the places I've been, but this time as a tourist. Yeah, well, yeah. 
Yeah, a lot of the travelling I did with my work, everybody went, oh, it's so nice you to be able to go to these places. And it's like, yeah, you kind of go there, you find a hotel, you go to the office, go back to the hotel, and then you fly home again. But yeah, I have managed to make another smelter too. Down you go. Oh, you've got a bag of gold. I'll take your bag of gold. We all love the Korean food. And Thai food. Big fan of Thai food. You can choose your gender. <laughs> the only reason we travel to distant horizons would be mainly for the food. Ah, okay, I do. The food and the beer. I visited and lived in Germany, whereas the late Queen visited the base my dad was on. Ah, okay. The cooks are away because it's Easter weekend. Yeah, of course, going to Germany in June for the Euros. Two weeks, or at least two weeks in Germany. It's going to be an expensive trip. Right, what are we getting this time? Oh, a carpenter. Yes, please. That'll come in useful. Oh, over here. An army brat. <laughs> uh, take you out and then put you in. Press play. And put you in the box. So that's two armorers and a smelter. And now it's a carpenter going as well. Sesame, good to see you. How are you? Of course, it's Ramadan still at the moment. What Sundays are you away in June? I'll cover. Uh, so, let me see. I think I go on like the thir 13th of June. Which I think, so the first game is on the Friday and I go on the Thursday. Um, and then I'll be away for two weeks. Yeah, fasting at the moment, yes. What barracks was your dad in? I was in Germany when... E2R visited back in the early 80s. Yeah. Right. See if we can get somebody else. Don't like travelling, so lucky we had an awesome Thai restaurant near us that's lots of Thai people frequent. That's always a good sign. That is a good sign. Oh, sabbaticals here as well. Oh, you look like a cook. Right, let's... We may as well get one cook. Why are you not attacking? Oh, he's level 5 now. 1,000... He's glitching out a bit. 1,484. So he's getting there. Uh, cook. Uh, no, I can't put it in there yet. I have to get you out of there. And then put you in there and cook you up. Got all these friends we're making. Fantastic. Uh, let me see if I can link Game Lab's channel for you.
Let me find it. That one there. Let's drop it in the chat. There we go. So that, that would be nice game labs because of course when uh, a couple of weeks ago when I was helping my stepson move house, game labs took over the Sunday stream. Uh, we can't do a playthrough together, Jason, because Game Labs is a PlayStation. Try to convince him to get him onto his PC, but um, he keeps saying that his PC isn't good enough. So he's a PlayStation one. But yeah, that 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 would be good fun if we could play together. But unfortunately, yeah, he's a. Uh, He's um, on the on the PlayStation, and I've said I play on the PC. How busy are the servers? They're not horrendously busy. It has fits and starts. Uh, you had a look at the Shrouded update yet? So no, because I'm not. I, I did a enshrouded video, I recorded an enshrouded video this afternoon that should come out tomorrow um, and the the update has dropped because that new survivor slot is now available but yeah, I, I believe the dungeon is more for like higher level characters and I'm I'm still quite quite low level Ain't got much to say, just waiting for dinner. No problem, Peck, don't worry about it. Come to the dark side of gaming, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, the, I mean, the, the PC doesn't, I mean, obviously, Conan Exiles is quite an old game, so the PC doesn't have to be that great, but to do, oh, an alchemist, an alchemist. To do that and stream at the same time, that that takes a lot out. So my my old PC that I had before this one, he played Conan Exiles no problem at all, but we started having problems when it's recording as well. The extra load of recording makes it makes it an issue, which means you either have to have a second machine for the streaming recording, or you have um, you have to have a better one. Right, cook out, alchemist in. Oh, that's perfect, having an alchemist three. We'll be able to make our oil no problem at all now. Although, ichor, we haven't found much ichor. Might have to find some more spiders. Right, let's, let's maybe do one more. Just sub to Game Labs. Thank you, Teddy Trent. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. What I find funny is that obviously uh, I I really struggle playing with controllers. I get much more accuracy with mouse and keyboard because I've used mouse and keyboard forever. But the console people are the opposite. You know, obviously, have always used controllers. So when Gaudia, what, what's his channel? Gaudia Kermatis or whatever. He's a PlayStation Conan YouTube channel. Who a month or a couple of months ago, maybe he bought a PC. And he's swapped over to the PC, but he's using his PlayStation controller on the PC. So all all the limitations of having playing on controller, um, he's now converted it to the PC. Which I thought was quite funny. How are you getting on? Where is that port coming from? He can't be getting that from our thrall pot all this distance away. And the thrall pot's over here and we're over here. And I've already chucked away two pieces of pork. But he's generating pork. Oh well. I guess that's handy. Right, could really do with a blacksmith. Could you be a blacksmith, please? It's 
from the throttle, but, but surely it can't be all the way over here. It can't be getting that. Yeah, now a decent blacksmith and we're in business, yeah. Oh, a smelter three. Down you go. Uh, you you play with the Xbox controller on the PC. So I I use my Xbox controller for like the Star Wars games because they are they are designed for controller. Surely it can't be th pulling from the thrall pot all this distance away. There must be a range on it. Also, it's raw pork, so it's not even cooked food. Maybe he picks it up when you throw it away. Uh, maybe. Yeah, but then... You only had one, and I took it off it and threw it away, and now he's got two. Weird. Very weird. Right. Alchemist. Smelter. In you go. Oh, I'm going to have to actually get these back to base, though. Right. One more. Hey, Grey Fox 6, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. I've just been chatting to Grey Fox uh, for this week. I've just discovered his YouTube channel where he's playing Conan and uh, Nightingale. So I've just been chatting to him a few times this week, so thanks for popping by. Good to see you. It's a new skill, pork generation. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen that happen before. We've had trouble with the thrall pot, but he's just... Raw pork is just appearing in his inventory. It's like, okay, we're a bit closer to the thrall pot here. But it's still, that's still a hell of a distance away. Surely it can't have that range on it. Playing single player and your rhino kept making gruel for some reason. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're trying to get over a cold. Oh, no. Yuck. Oh, Kathy Ann has discovered another new channel that she can now go and watch. Good to see you. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, right, you're still pushing away. Okay, right. Hopefully this is a blacksmith. If not, we've got to go home. Uh, Come on then. Carpenter one. Boo. As the snake strikes, I As this, uh, okay, just knock him out then. Okay, that'll do. Oh, battle music. Where is that coming from? It's just still because that guy's not dead. Right, we're going to have to work out how we're going to get all these people home. Uh, it says we finished our... Oh, you finished the Red Dead Redemption Arthur story. Man, I was misty-eyed. Had high honour. You are with John and filed in the goal. So that is such a weird part of that game. After... After... Without... I don't want to give any spoilers to a game that's many, many years old. But it's such a great story in Red Dead Redemption 2. If you haven't played it get it and play it it's fantastic i think i've played it through three times but when when it comes to the end of arthur's story and you go back to being john marsden again um and you start working on a farm like picking up shit and fixing fences and stuff like that after being the this mental deadly gunslinger cowboy it's like uh what what's going on here such a weird part Troy's horse picks up raw meat as well. Interesting. So animals shouldn't feed from the thrall, but they should get from the the animal feed box if there's any food in there. Check the blacksmith armor near your base. It could be yeah, that's true. That is true. That's also an excellent place to get the armors and and blacksmiths. But right now. Uh, 
we haven't got enough carry space to get all this stuff back in one trip. We've got four slots in there. I can carry that. 65, 30. How many have you got? Yeah, give you your weapon back. Throw that away. Give me that. Uh, right. So, one, two, three, four peoples. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six. Oh, I think we've got. We'll have enough slots to carry everyone, do we? Smelter. Yay! And we've got one to spare. Cool. Right. We'll leave that there because we might come back for some more training another time. You could do the tedious method of moving the box over and over. I could, but luckily we've got enough enough space. That would be horrendous to travel the box all that distance. Moving it, placing it down, moving it, placing it down. Right, is the gate still open? Can I ride straight through? Oh, it's all misty here. Are we well excited for chapter four? Uh, yeah, quite, quite excited. Uh, I do find I've, I've tested the the hunt on the PTR and I, oh, the gate is open and I do find it quite fun. Um, fatalities are quite fun. That box has disappeared. Uh, I, I'm not looking forward to the the purge. The those new new people. That the purge is not my thing. I'm going to leave that to Audu. He can put out all the videos with those star callers and the invisible thieves and what's the other one? The exploding golems, is it? That's the other one that's coming. But yeah, in general, I'm looking forward to it. I'm liking the fact that like Funcom are on holiday at the moment. This is this is Easter holidays for them. So they've waited until Tuesday to put the patch out. So unlike the Chapter 3, where they dropped the patch and then disappeared for a, their Christmas holidays. Purge, 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 says I do. Uh, they're waiting till after the holidays to put the purge out. Which has the other effect of, well, they, they can't be working on the patch because they're on holiday right now. But yeah, generally looking forward. Game Labs is doing a stream on Tuesday, testing out all the new stuff because, of course, uh, the console hasn't had any any PTR to play with so you get to try it out good luck trying it out on release day I'm very much hoping it all goes well but you know what you know what these things are like right let's get these people placed on benches right what have we got have we got carpenter cook smelter and armorer right you can come Put the armor three on there and put the armor two on the tanner's bench. Uh, once you finish up R, see, I keep seeing that sesame and it just, I keep reading it as R2D2, but RDR2, Red Dead Redemption 2, you're coming back to exiles, need the defecation. Yeah, that's a, it's always good to get a, get a change. That's why I'm enjoying playing Nightingale and uh, Enshrouded. Just gives you something else to do. Right, we have a carpenter going on the carpenter's bench. Uh, Major Dan bought it some time ago, but really couldn't get into it until Scott of Anger's channel. Uh, what's that? Is that Conan or one of the other games, Dan? Yeah. Horse needs a name. Oh, that's true. That's true. It does need a name. Okay. Who wants to be the horse? Who wants to have a horse named after them? We might get round to naming thralls as well at some point in time, but uh, at the moment... Holy crab, you, you've you been the horse already. Give somebody else a chance. Come on. Sesame. Okay. Let me slowly walk back over. 
Uh, open inventory. Sess uh, me my horse. Is that how you spell it? S E S I M I E. Yeah. There we go. Sesame the horse. Sesame seed biter. <laughs> uh, right, who else have I got? I've got a cook. Cook can go on this little campfire because we haven't got a stove yet. There we go. Get down in your knees. Still really heavy. Why am I so heavy? Oh, I've got somebody else in there. An armorer. Oh, I've, oh, I've got two armorer threes. Okay. You can come off of there and we'll have the armorer three on there as well. Uh, and then we've got a smelter and the alchemist. We don't have an alchemist bench yet. Horses don't get names until level 10. Oh. I don't mind, because I, I I really don't lose horses very... I can't even remember the last time I lost a horse. Typically because they run away. They've got high HP and they run away so much. Uh, right, we'll put the alchemist on the fireball cauldron for the moment. Because we don't have an alchemist bench yet. And then we've got a smelter two on the air. There we go. That's not bad. So we'll need a tier four, a uh, tier three or tier four taskmaster to put on there at some point in time. Then you can put blacksmiths and armorers on the tinkers bench. We've got a carpenter. We still need a blacksmith. Okay, right. Cook that. Look that. The pork is disappearing from here. Let me see if you've got pork on you. You do. Ah, okay. So they're f actually feeding from this now. Although they're feeding raw pork. Eh, uh, do 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 do. Let me see. Or uh, the take it. I will name mine in your honour. <laughs> uh, can you? How do you? Can you get dibs on a busty red-headed Nordheimer? Certainly. Um, I would like to be part of a takeover. <laughs> Hostile takeover. Uh, Major down a bit late in getting on. Did he fire the other apprentice? Nope, nope. It's still here. This is the guy we had last week. The Shemite three. Got him up to level 10, but we, at the end of last week, from that very camp where we were just getting all these uh, friends, we got a Stygian archer who's who's been with us since the start of the episode. We haven't lost anybody today so far. Uh, the horse naming convention comes when horses wouldn't run away and had way fewer HP. Yeah, so that's that's the the good change about horses. They will They will flee, and I believe... In chapter 4, we have one of the commands we can give to our followers is flee. So we can get them to run away as well. They'll disengage and run away. So a better way of them avoiding dying in combat. I haven't actually tested that. I forgot. Up until this moment, I'd forgot that existed. Uh, use the stables as a fridge. Does that work as well, does it? Automatic porking, yeah. Somehow managed to lose one with 27,000 HP to... Ah, to the Stormsick encounter. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Yeah, you don't lose them, you just leave them behind. <laughs> ah, well, that, that has happened a few times. That certainly happened a few times. I arrive somewhere and go, Oh, I put my horse on standby. Right. Uh, oh, it's, it's five minutes to go. Let's go... Qu he's picked up more pork. Let's quickly go across and see if we can get a blacksmith from our camp over here. Jump. Jump. Stop crouching.
Good gaming will name your busted redhead lady thrall. I'll do for you. <laughs> um, has anybody been watching Wax? Wax doing the whole Red Sonja series. Whole different way of doing things. I think the second episode just came out yesterday. It's it's speaking of busty redheads. He's he's doing a really good job of it. He's been inspired by the the Neebs guys to do something more story related. It's been really good. Ah, you have, you've watched it as well, Sesame. Andy B, you're gonna have to go and deal with real life. Well, I'm sorry for that, but thanks for thanks for popping by. Enjoy the rest of your Easter. Watch out! Watch out! Right, take out that guy. I'll take out. No, I won't. I'll miss them completely. Uh, right, you've got a trunch in. Let's see what we can get. Blacksmith one. And an armorer one. Rubbish. One shot. Right, come here then, sorcerer. Sorcerer three, uh, yeah. Useful one day. Uh, take that. Chest over here. We should be able to take on the jailer now, eh? Oh, that's water orbs. They'll come in useful. As will the coal. Let's work our way through. Surely we can take on the jailer now. Oh, yes. We're doing a little bit more damage. Uh, so, whack. he took what? Neebs to go and get... Yeah, he, Neebs has been running around with low-level thralls, so he took her up. Took him up to get the... Get a berserker. Up at the Mounds of the Dead. Right, five. Here he comes. Oh, right past me. There we go. That's more like it. Neeb's getting a berserker as a major shift now. Yeah, that's true. Although, you never know, we can still get it to kill. Although, I think it was at the episode before that they were killing uh, horses. Right, what did we get there? We've got gloves and legs. Okay, so that'll increase up to a thousand. We've already got the gloves. Real test for friends. The jailer may leave after that. Right, let's see. Dragon powder, volta glands, gold coins. Yes, please. Uh, nothing off of you. Another one round here. Oh no, we've already fought it. Take that, take that. Black lotus powder, dragon powder. Uh, Frost Lotus Powder Coins Purse. Very nice. I wonder if we've got Purple Lotus as well, so we can get a... Right, that one's empty. That one's got a bearer. Let's see who it is. Uh, it's a bearer 3. With 2,000 XP on it. Right, let's leave you there for the moment. Let's see who we've got down here. Carpenter 2 and an Exile. Okay. And then you'll just be fighters. Dead. Dead. Right, let's... Let's stop walking backwards. Stop walking backwards. There we go. Uh, 
better than a kick of the... Oh, yeah, that's true, till Tuesday when they're... Uh, I was going to go back and get them, but they're going to get nerfed on Tuesday. So, let's not bother. Okay, right. Well, that's been a pretty successful day. Bearer HP is getting massively nerfed, yes. Let's see... Uh, back to our base... Just have to farm that location again, see if we can get a blacksmith three or four. Why are you moonwalking? That that still is uh, still part of the bugs that are happening in chapter three. Hopefully that'll get fixed in chapter four. Right. You stand guard there. There we go. Put my weapons away in this horrible maelstrom weather. Right, that's going to do it for today. Thank you. Oh, smack my mic and make a noise. <laughs> Pisses you off. Fuck it. Well, it's not the worst thing that happened in chapter three, is it? There was it was a check out check out um, eradications review of chapter three. He's very brutal about that. Oh, but I heard some fighting going on. Yeah. Thank you very much, every single one of you who have come along today. Thanks for all the the comments, the joining in with the chat. It's been really really great with you all. Uh, thanks for the. Thanks for the donations. Thanks for any new subs. And uh, I'll, I'll wish you a pleasant Easter for what's left of it, for those who are celebrating it, and for everybody else, enjoy your chocolate. Um, I guess you're, unless you're fasting, of course. Apologies, apologies, Sesame. Um, but yeah, thanks, everybody. Have a great week, and I'll hopefully see you next weekend. Bye-bye now. <laughs>